Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave and I wanted to do a quick review of the dash cam that we purchased from uh, off of Amazon and I did a unboxing video of it earlier which you guys can go on. There'll be a link on here you can go check it out if you want. But um, I wanted to do a review after having used it for about uh, 5,000 miles of travel and so so here's what I got so far. So first of all it is the Old Shark GS 8000 L that you can get off of Amazon. I think I paid about 25 to 30 dollars for it, something like that. So it's really, really inexpensive, uh, you know, compared to some of the others. I was just looking at a, a Garmin. Uh, I think they call it the Garmin 20, the Dash Cam 20 or whatever, which they had on clearance uh, for 199. So I don't know what the normal price on that is, but. And it looked like the only differences uh, that it really had was that it was GPS enabled. So it would show like your location, uh, how fast you're going, stuff like that, which uh, might be might be good. I'll have to do some more digging into that. But anyways, so the way I set mine up, I set it up in the window. And I'll show you here. So it's just in my dash up in the window with a little suction cup mount and I have it set for 720p it does do 1080p I'm gonna do that as my next setting so one of the things that I learned uh, the hard way is it does um, override any previous files that you have on there so once you put a SD card in there which it'll hold up to a 32 gigabyte and at 720p will record for approximately four hours so once say it starts at, at file number one and once it gets to four hours or you know or however long exactly it was it was cl really close to four hours um, it literally will just do continuous so it will replace number one and and keep filming so that it it, it doesn't um, stop filming so that's good to know but it can delete footage that you wanted. Uh, so it's a really good to have two SD cards, which is what I did for our trip. So about every four hours, I would switch out uh, the SD cards, which worked out perfect for us because we usually drove only about eight to 10 hours a day. Now, if nothing significant happened, then I would just let it continue recording. So like right now, I'm driving around town and unless I'm wanting to share some specific video that we took, um, I just let it do its continuous recording. So it'll replace a video that was there before but um i really like it i, I have the uh exposure mode set on it to plus two just because it does at night time uh helps light up a little bit better there are, are some features on it that i don't use um but that's okay uh the ir feature that it that it touts that it has uh it's it's yeah I, I mean i don't know that i would really call it ir um being in, in an industry that deals a lot with IR products, um, I definitely would not call this IR. So it, it's basically just illuminates a little bit more than than nothing. Um, now, and if you're on a really dark road, as you'll see on some of the videos that I posted, uh, basically all that it's showing you is what your lights have lit up, maybe you know 75 feet ahead of you. So, but anyways, all in all, for a 25 to 30 dollar uh dash cam i am very happy with it uh, we've took some pretty cool videos uh, going through canada um, alaska and the different states uh, on our way from we took a long trip so i picked i picked this up in indiana so we went from indiana all the way to washington state and then from washington state up through canada vancouver area um, on then on up into alaska so uh, for some took some very cool footage. It does really well during the daytime. Very happy with it. Uh, and if only it came with like a an instant bug remover from your windshield, that would be great, right? So yeah, unfortunately, you'll notice in some of the videos um, that even with my windshield washer fluid, I wasn't able to get the bugs off the window. So, but anyways, um, on a scale of you know like one to ten, I would give it uh, probably about a seven. Uh, just because of the the nighttime uh, really wasn't that great and now maybe there's a setting I haven't found to know how to turn it on properly but because there are some IR settings in there but they're different than what I'm used to seeing so 
but anyways um pretty cool you can zoom in and out that's another feature that i do like about it so if you see something and you want to zoom in you can zoom in on it and, and the pixels are still pretty good when it zooms in so but if you have any questions or comments uh please let me know I ask them down below and i will try and answer them as best possible so here again this is the old shark gs 8000 l dash cam that i got off of amazon for about 25 to 30 dollars so and that included because I'm, I'm a prime member so i don't pay shipping and handling but all right thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day god bless